The Eternals, to date, will be one of the longest Marvel Studios films, only matched by the length of Avengers Endgame and Infinity War, so that's pretty impressive considering it's the first in a franchise. Now the director of the film opens up a little bit about this extremely long runtime and why it's needed. I will say it's been interesting to see the response to this film being as long as it is. Of course, over two hours and 30 minutes, and people were like, why has it got to be this long? Why can't they make it a shorter film? I don't care about these characters. I don't want them. O okay, then why do you complain about a shorter film every other time? Like, can people just agree that the runtime of a film should be what the studio, the director, and the vision calls for and not dictated by fanboys on the internet who go, well, I don't like this character or I don't care about agenda, whatever, so make it short, but I'll still see it. Or I care about this, therefore make it long because I care. Again, let the length of the film be dictated by what the film is. I mean, everybody, I think, can agree that if Venom Let There Be Carnage was a little longer, we probably could have gotten some explanation to everything happening in the film and not just feeling like it was just thrown together and things just happened because in many regards. So let's be, you know, very happy about that. So recently, Chloe Zhao was asked about this. Why is the film as long as it is? Why is it longer than Avengers Infinity War, but not as long as Endgame? And she said... It actually could have been a lot longer, but there was a lot going on and they decided when you cut it down to a good pace, when you tell the story you need to, they landed at over two hours and 30 minutes. Now, she did say that there's a lot to the mythology. There's a lot to what they're building, a lot of things that are happening in this film that does unfold in a rapid pace and is quick, but again, it services the story and what they have going on there. And I think many of you can agree, Marvel Studios hasn't really had an issue with pacing, I would say. There's been a couple films here or there, but as a whole, for all the films so far, there hasn't really been a issue. Now, before somebody brings up Marvel TV because people are trying, TV is a different format. You have to do things a certain way. If that's the complaint, then I guess you all hate every season of Daredevil where the middle episodes, he gets punched in the ribs and then he sits for seven episodes doing nothing, right? Like, let's not bring Marvel TV or TV against film. I trust that over two hours and 30 minutes is enough time, as she says, to explore these questions, give you the answers, and deliver the Marvel action you're looking for, including the character moments. I mean, there's so many characters in here, you would hope that they have enough time, that somebody doesn't feel like they're underutilized.